So it might not look like much now, but it's from this very spot that in 1952, the would-be first Prime Minister and President of an independent Kenya, Jomo Kenyatta, would say to a ferociously aggrieved, unlooking crowd, Are you ready to fight the white man? You know he is as stubborn as a donkey. Are you willing to withstand his kicks as I hold down his neck? Those words would begin an eight-year conflict between the Kenyan Land and Freedom Army and the British Empire. The conflict would become known as the Mau Mau Rebellion, and it was mostly led by the Kukuyu tribe, who detested colonial rule and the master-servant relationship imposed on them. Over the following eight years, atrocities would occur from both sides, and it's here in Nyeri County where most of the war fighting took place. I've come here today, in 2023, to see what life is like now and tell a little bit of colonial history that was suppressed from the British public for almost 50 years. So if you're anything like me, before coming here, I always thought Kenya was red hot and on the verge of drought. Well, you're severely mistaken because it is bloody Baltic here in the area. Um, it's been raining for the last few days, as you can see from the ground. It's soaking but we're gonna head into town hopefully get a little bit of a warm drink to warm us up and then we'll get on with the day I've just seen this little bit of a farm village or something here just as I was walking through so I'm just gonna check this out because you just don't see things like this at home look at this the wooden fences the farm people doing the washing oh they're gonna get that bloody in it's gonna be drenched yeah anyway, we're gonna have a little wander around here and then we'll head into the town and see the other places that I've got on the list. So we're gonna to go to some caves where some of the fighters hid out. We're gonna be going to a memorial where one of the main leaders was shot. And we're going to some other places along the way, some a dam and other places, but oh, I've come to a dead end. Cool, right, let's go find a boda boda, get warmed up with a nice brew. these little towns and villages are so picturesque you have the old uh, fruit stalls how are we doing how are we doing the old fruit stalls you calling me over or are you telling me off i can't work it out Hi. how are you doing i love your colorful uh, scarf chai i love this it's beautiful chai 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 where from oh, do you speak english she wants a tea i said yeah where can she get one from she is there what tea. is there a tea here a chai? Oh, this one. Yeah, is there a chai here? Yeah, just yeah? here. Come, let's get a chai. So picturesque. You don't get stuff like that at home. Is this why this places like this are so interesting to me? Go. Go on. Where are we going? Yeah. Cup of just, tea. Just yeah? here. Cup of just tea. Here. Come on, now, let's go get one. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Let me try one of these. Yeah. You only saw one. So it's a mandazi, yeah? Mandazi. So mandazi, it's, you see outside, it's like a bit of a puff pastry. You open it up, it's like a donut, but with nothing in it. It's not super sweet, but it's really tasty. It's good with sausages inside. What are you doing here? Um, oh, so you put it in there to cool down? Mm. Alright, oh, okay. It's called Kupuecha. Kupuecha? Kupuecha. I've never seen that happen before. She's very smiley. So can you ask her, from her experience in life, what does she think it takes to be happy? No, no. No, no. She's feeling always happy. When she sees young age like us, she is very appreciative because one day she was there and you look like you are his son. Okay. So she likes she, she's happy to see young people like that. Yeah. Oh, very nice. Yeah, Beautiful. Yeah. We finished a cup of chai and now we're finally going to head into the main town and get our bus, hopefully, to Kariba, where some caves were, where some of the main fighters were hiding out. How are we doing? What are you up to? I'm good, I'm good. What's your name? 
Joshua. Oh, you are Joshua. Joshua, yeah, yeah. From the Bible. What is this? From the Bible. It's from, from the Bible. Bible. Joshua from the Tattoos. Bible. Tattoos. Tribal. <laughs> no, no, no. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. You are, you are, you are Joshua. Yeah. yeah. Joshua who? <laughs> Joshua who? Hey. Joshua who? Joshua. Yeah. yeah. From the Bible. Or from the Bible. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No. From England. England. Yeah. In the North East. Middlesbrough. You know the football team? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, what are you the finest team in football. Fine, fine, fine. Hi. Are you happy to be here? Yeah, I love it here. Okay, okay, okay. okay. What's well, the difference between Kenya and England? And England. And England. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so many differences. The people are much friendlier. Yeah. We are friendly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you are enemies. So you are <laughs> enemies. No, we're not enemies. We're enemies. <laughs> <laughs> but if I was at home, or yeah. if anyone's at home, you don't get crowds of people saying, hey, come and say hello, like, how oh, was life? Yeah. It doesn't happen at home. But you see, so. we are tall, dark, and handsome. Obviously, I mean, look at your eyes. The right selection, no, eh, for the girls. No, dancer, no, dancer. This is black beauty. No, beauty. This is beautiful, boys. No, no, no. So here we are. In the The shopping mall with bars and clubs in there. The Lamo Plaza, more bars and shops. It's very different to what it was just yeah. 10 minutes ago, where it's more like a village and out in the sticks, wooden houses. Here it's more like a city centre, but it's a small town. It's a small town, but busy town. Yeah, it's very busy. Yeah, busy town. We've just been dropped off outside the supermarket. And now we're actually looking for a Matatu. It looks like this is the Matatu Center. How are we doing, boss? This is the uh, Matatu Center. So let's see if we can get to the place I want to go. So there's no direct bus to the place I want to go. So I've got to go to a town called Karawigi and go from there and then make the way up from there. All right, this is the bus I'm getting into. I'm good, boss. How are you? I'm good. Next one. The next one. Oh, it's too busy. It's fully rammed. So I can't get into this one. i got to wait for the next one. They don't really have a scheduled time. It just, when they're full, they go. So it might be a little while. So the new bus has arrived, but it's empty and it doesn't look like it's filling up anytime soon. So I'm gonna have a little wander around and just check out this bus stop area. And I think it looks like a little marketplace at the back. So we'll go have a look at this. I think this might be a market, but I'm not entirely sure. But we'll have a little wander around anyway. We've probably got half an hour at least. How are we doing? How are we doing? You guys? It's good and sweet. Nice to meet you. You good? Yes, definitely. You think it's, you feel like you've had a drink? I'm not, no, no. I'm <laughs> okay. I'm going this way. How are you? Yes. Going this way. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 I'm going this way. I, I got yes. a shaver. Yes. I don't need a shaver. What, what do you mean by that? What do you mean? You don't? You don't? You don't? Me. No, I've got one already. Oh, okay. no, no, yeah. the, the wallet. Look at his face. The wallet. I've got one the wallet. I don't need a wallet either. Do you I, don't perfume I don't carry a wallet. Do you perfume? The perfume? No, I always smell amazing. Oh, you all, yours wash? I also smell amazing. <laughs> <laughs> all the best parts. So many hustlers here. Selling all sorts, perfume, watches, ear defense, uh, earphones, headphones, what else are they selling? Uh, tangerines, oranges, bananas. Yeah. Here we go. How are we doing? How are we doing? How are we doing? What's your name? I've just been talking about all the hustlers. I thought this was going to be a hustler situation. What are you selling? <laughs> Have you got any bowls of water? I'll take a bottle of water from you if I can, please. Can I pay in pesa? Yes, yeah? Of course. Okay. See how are you ready we for? I'm waiting for the bus to Katarina. Katarina? Yeah. <laughs> I think, is I'm saying it wrong? Why are you laughing at me? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. You look so good. Oh, thank you very much. So do you. Yeah. yeah? See, what are you doing inside of the van? There's all the yeah. people out here. Yeah, so You're hiding from the money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how much is 50, it? 50 bob. 50 bob? Yeah. Yeah, it's the most expensive bottle of water I've had since I got here. Uh, it's really? Yeah, yeah. Is this a, a special it's price? A bottle, <laughs> it's a bottle of Oh, bottle okay. Wheelbarrow. Everything is going to have. Yeah. Even Hufla, Uga, Ugali. Hi. Yeah. But you can have something to eat. It's something to eat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. Right, so we'll have a little wander around. Honestly, the people in Kenya are genuinely the friendliest people I've ever met in the world. Right, we're going to have a little walk up here. Me, 32. 
32. That's you. Yeah. I'm 45. 45? Yeah. Oh, you don't look that old. <laughs> yeah. Our boys. Nice. I'm a big boxer. You're a boxer, yeah? yeah? Oh, maybe you can do some training for me. I want to do some boxing. Yeah. i got a fight in my head that I want to do. Yeah. So I need to do some training. Yeah. I'll come looking for you. Yeah. You can be my coach. Yeah. Right, nice to meet you. I'm going to walk on. I'm going to get my bus. <laughs> right, so we're actually going to get the bus. Wait, 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 wait. What's your name? I didn't get your name. Yes. I didn't get your name. Kaka. 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 Yeah. Nice to meet you, Kaka. Okay. So if I need a boxing coach, I'm coming for Kaka. Yeah. yeah? Okay. okay. Nice to meet you, mate. Right. How are we doing? Right, we are getting the boss. Yes, boss. How are we doing? What is this? Arados. Is it food? It's food, yeah? Okay, let me try this. I've never seen this before. So 50 shillings, yeah? Okay. Now I'll just take a little piece. Uh, just a little piece so I can try it. I don't want a whole piece. Tasteless but nutritious. Okay, someone just told me it was sweet, that's why I bought it. <laughs> Help yourself. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's see. You want some? I'm gonna have this one. You want? My friends, yeah. Yeah? Pass it around. So we're going to try cassava roasted at the side of the road. Tasteless but nutritious, I've been told. Let me eat one. It's very dry and it's very tasteless. Right, so we've got a cassava, let's get on the bus. It's very dry, it literally tastes of nothing. But we don't want to miss our bus. Oh, we're still no further forward. There's only three people in there. I see we are calling. I'm back again. You can see that, Josh. Yeah, now I am. Oh, uh, so I'm in Luxembourg now. I have no idea where I'm going. Ah, that little passage. They won't see that. Yeah? You can hide it, but don't hide it. Oh, yeah. the bar. Just keep it on your hand. Yeah? Yeah. What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. Ah, we are just watching. What is it? She's reading, she's been reading. Oh, you saw her reading there? So, it looks like I've been brought into a bar in a brothel. Go on then, let's have a keg. So we've... Um... Oh, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can do it. Cheers. So we've come sure. up into the bar, and we've been a, bit, a little bit... Um, what's the word? Secretive, because it, there's a few girls working in here. Relax in the presence, trust yeah. in this time. Yeah. Yeah. It's a sign from yeah. God, yeah? Yes, this is the that's in God's grace. Oh, it's, it's only very, it's very nice, Joshua. How many people are buying math signs in here? In the room, how many times are you selling this? I don't get it. Do we have focus okay. in England? Do we have what? People who hook in England? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. We have very. It's not legal, but it does happen a lot. But it's good to work a little. <laughs> people have got away. Down here, yeah? Oh, watch, watch, watch. Joshua? Yeah? Yeah. I'm staying just up the road, not too far, in um, Scooter. Uh -huh, scooter. In Scooter, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's very close. That's yeah, it's not far. From this place. Yeah, 30 shillings. I've been, pay, I've been paying 150. 50? 150. They are overcharging you, man. <laughs> yeah, of course. Too much. Right, Alice, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you let, tomorrow. Maybe later on Alley when I come back morning. through. Yeah, it'll be, about, it'll be early. Nice one, mate. On the vest. Enjoy the crew. There you go. Hiya, sweetheart. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Say hi to them. <laughs> well, giving a little sweet of my new friend. What's your name? Amia Mani. What's your name? Amia Mani. Amia Mani. Nice to meet you. There you go. Is that nice? Mmm. Say hello, everybody. Bye bye. Mufika, we've arrived. Say Mufika. 
Okay, so we've arrived. And now we're gonna try and find some transport up to the caves. Nice to meet ya. All the best. Ah uh, yeah, so we're now we're gonna try and find our way to the caves. Um, we're probably gonna need a boda boda to do that. But I also need a wee first, because that bus was actually about half an hour, 40 minutes. You're laughing at me. <laughs> How are we doing, Sarah? Right, we're going for a cup of chai, yeah? Ah, come. Let's go. What's your name? My name is Mugani. Mugani? Cecilia. Mugani, Cecilia. Oh, yes. Nice to meet you. Nice, nice name. Joshua is my name. Joshua who? Chombo. Hi. Okay. Chombo. Chombo. Yeah, we'll go with Chombo. Mm. That could be my new African name. Uh, Chombo. Chombo. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> You've just graced me, that, Chombo. That's a nice, good, good name. Yeah, strong name. Uh, Powerful uh, African name. <laughs> <laughs> Right, we're doing my new favourite trick. I've forgotten the name of how you do it. But that chai is steaming hot. I'll get there. There we go. Yeah, I like it. Because I've never seen this before till today. It's my first time, so now I want to do it every time I have a tea. That's today. And now, hopefully, it's not a fiery inferno when you try to drink it. Yeah. That's definitely cooled down a little bit. Beautiful. Bizarre. <laughs> How are we doing, boss? Hello. Hey, mate. How are we doing? Oh, I like your, your wing guards. Oh, yeah. Very old school. Boss, I want to go to the Kariba Caves. Kariba Caves? Yeah. You know where? Yeah. Yeah? How much? What are you talking here? To go there. Is there boaters there? No. No, okay. So to go there, I walk around for about half an hour and then come back. Two thousand. Two thousand is way too much. Fifteen hundred. Way too much. Yeah. Uh, Be fair, come on. A thousand. How much is a thousand? Seven dollars. Okay. Let's go. One hundred, my lunch. No, no, no. One hundred, my lunch. I can't, man. I can't. All the best. All the best. Ooh, we're off. We're finally on our way to Kariba. Sympathizers. Within a few days of their first attacks, the colonial government had put out a state of emergency and started rounding up anyone that they believed to be Mau Mau and the sympathizers to their cause. The moderates, they stayed in place, in places like Nairobi and here, waiting to be arrested. But the extreme elements, the more violent elements, they fled to the Aberdeer forest nearby and to the caves where we're about to go to now. We've got the new roads built the heavy machinery here the highway that brought me all the way from Nairobi into Nayeri was amazing it was so smooth it was a two-hour drive I was expecting trouble along the way but no it was perfect the Fika highway look at this beautiful place how are we doing <laughs> so I have all the yam stalls at the farms they were probably just grown in the fields behind and then they sell them at the side of the road Nanuki, yeah. okay, so not too far away. So you know much of the British troops? So yeah. In Nanuki, part of the old the hangover from the British, there's a big training base where the British Army come and they have this place called Batten. And they come and train here pretty much all year round. And that is about, uh, maybe about an hour away from here. Yes. 
my forefathers before me. I'm going to look for Kariba. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Only this time it's a much different mission. Did it? Thanks very much, boss. English. How are we doing? Yeah, English, bro. Yeah. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Yeah, good. How are you doing, brother? All right? Hi, I'm fine. You good? I yes, like your sir. hat. Where yeah, I come from? England. England. Yeah, that's why I come to see. Yeah. You come yeah. to see that cave. Yeah. It's my mom walk cave. Yeah, because I won't come to see you. Who's the enemy? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> that is a nice one. What's your name? Me, my name is Martin. 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 Nice to meet you, Martin. Martin. I'm Joshua. Yeah. And you? Washington. Washington. Yes. Nice to meet you, Washington. <laughs> like George? Yes. Like George. Yes. Exactly. Oh, I can hear the water because these caves are hidden by a waterfall, I believe. Yeah. This one is calling. It's called Kalibas Cave. Kalibas Cave. Yes. So for a long time, women could avoid suspicion, so they could move between the British lines as they were looking for the Mau Mau. So the women used to bring the supply, well, they were the supply lines, and they would come through these little crevices like this. Let me get down. Bringing ammunition and food to the troops that were hidden in the caves. Oh, wow. Careful not to fall down these holes. Ooh. I don't know how the women would have been carrying am boxes of ammunition and bags of food to get across this because it's a bloody nightmare just with the camera in hand. But here we are. Look at this place. So now we're making our way deeper into the caves where the troops would have been hiding out. Yeah. Come, come. Oh wow. Yeah. It's extremely narrow. Wow. The mama, mother mama was hiding this cave, this, this hole in, the, in that side. Okay. Yeah, you see. So we go have a look, yeah? Yeah. Yes. So during the whole rebellion, there was only 32 white settlers killed, but there was thousands of National Guard, or Home Guard as they were called, which were made up pretty much of Kikuyu and other tribes of the native people in Kenya. At one point there was 25,000 people um, in the Home Guard, and some people it's disputed, but some people see it more of as a civil war between the Kikuyu tribe because of the loyalists that favoured the British and the obviously the Mau Mau, which did not. Out of the 25,000 troops, up to 30% of them were basically forced into working for the British. They were conscripted and obviously they were living in desperate times, a lot of them, so the promise of pay from the British forces got them on side anyway right let's keep moving forward oh, I'm out of breath because this is a mission I'm being attacked by sticks more caves so it's in gaps like this where ammunition would have been hid and food and other resources that the troops needed to sustain them oh we're really getting into the caves now oh, here we go No wonder it took years for the British to find the Mau Mau hiding here. Some of the Mau Mau were hiding in these caves for nearly eight years. Yeah? We went down here. Oh wow, really? Okay. You can see? Yeah. These were the hideouts. Okay. Yes. So how do you know how many people 
how many of the Mau Mau would have been in these caves? Around 80. Around 50 people? Yeah. Okay. It's a big, it's a big deal, yeah. So it's pitch black in here. But to my left, there's about 10 or so women, Christians, praying. They're holding hands and doing their chants and praying for the caves. Try not to interrupt too much because. Wow. This is where they were. People from Mount Kenya and the other army from Abadea, they came to meet here at these caves. Okay. Because here is the where the general had his out of. So after the state of emergency was called, it's places like this where the Mau Mau, the, the militant aspect of it, would come. In Abadeh Forest, you had Dade and Kamafi, he was the leader over there. Here you had Kabira, he was the leader over here. And then in Mount Kenya, there was more troops for the Mau Mau. And this would be the central location where they would come and plan their attacks. Wow, what an experience. <laughs> I feel like a shit Tarzan. Yeah, you can yeah, really yeah. get baptized. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even today, yes. people still get baptized here. Yeah. Wow. Who's bringing their babies here? <laughs> <laughs> Absolute maniacs. <laughs> wow. Right, we're heading back up to the road now. And it's some hard work. Let me tell you, I'm blowing. My heart's going to pop out my chest. But you have to remember when the Mau Mau attacked, because it was guerrilla warfare tactics and they were really outnumbered. They would have to do this in the dark, carrying their weapons, which were usually makeshift rifles and whatever else they could muster before they'd go on from here, march into the area where they were gonna take their attack, do the attack and then come back all under the cover of darkness. Real fighting troops, warriors. See that? So this big tree in the distance, yeah? Yeah, called Mogumo. Our forefathers believed if you play under that tree, your God will hear you and wonders will be happening. Oh, very cool. So they used to go under this tree, play, and whatever they play, it, 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 it happens. And they do believe it up, up to date. The Mogumo tree is a tree of God. Very cool. And the funniest thing of it, it doesn't die. Whenever it gets old and feel like it, it's about to die, it grabs another tree, eat it up, and it becomes a mugumo. Wow. So, like that, it have, it have grabbed another tree. Yeah. And this one. Later on, became a mugumo. Yeah, you can see all the trees wrapped together yeah. and around. Wow. And what is this evil thing? Does anybody get the reference? <laughs> right, we're leaving the boys. <laughs> Thank you. All the best, boys. So there was no road, there was no access, it was completely just in the wilderness. This was a, a deep forest where okay. you, couldn't even, you couldn't even fight with some wildlife around. Everywhere was dark. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, it looks pretty open now because you've got the farmland that's been introduced and some of the trees have been felled. But this would have been deep inside the forest, hidden away. And it's no wonder the British couldn't find them for many years. The British actually used to use air support to bomb the cave systems because they couldn't find the people inside them. Dumb and dumb of a 
reveal. <laughs> I'm half expecting to see Jim Carrey at the front of this. So we've arrived looking all windswept and interesting but if you take a look at the name of the school the Kengo Berry Girls High School and that means can go free because once upon a time when this was a detention center above here read the sign he who helps himself is helped and can go free reminiscent of our bike to Macht Fry above Auschwitz the concentration camps that myself and the people who've done the British curriculum would have been taught about they weren't necessarily taught about and in fact I'm pretty positive the concentration camps that the British had 10 years after the end of the Second World War. Wow, striking. Something else. Obviously now it's a girls high school so we can't go wandering around with a camera, but that little bit of history is one of the pieces which has shocked me the most about this whole affair. Inside these detention centres, people weren't treated very nicely. They were forced into working hard labour. Places like the Jomo Kenyatta Airport, as it's now known, were built by the labour of the people in these camps. And inside there, the guards would torture the inmates, raping um, them, murdering, and even castrations. Some really devious stuff that went on. And this sort of treatment was hidden by the British government for almost 50 years. There was a court case in 2011 which brought some of this to light. The government decided to or managed to settle out of court so it never made it into the mainstream news the way it probably should have done anyway I think we're gonna call it for the day because we've got all the day tomorrow and I'm bloody knackered because it's been a long one that cave was crazy all right on we go show you my place where I'm staying because mm. the view from here is incredible you can see Mount Kenya yeah. about 100 kilometers in the distance yeah, yeah it's a beautiful place yeah yeah thank you very much mate you've been a star absolute superstar there you are man all the best oh. right so we're making our way up to the last flight of stairs and hopefully we'll be able to see Mount Kenya oh just about I can make it out with a naked eye the Mount Kenya, the famous Mount Kenya is in the distance, but look at this. You can see the plains and the mountains over there. On a clearer day, this would be an incredible view. It already is, but anyway, let me show you the room where I'm staying. Here it is. So this is where I've been staying. You've got this huge TV for you to watch going global whenever you're free. Ignore the clothes. I had some washing done, but it was pissing it down, so I had to drive inside. You've got your Beautiful big toilet, nice heated showers for because it is bloody freezing here, so it's nice to have a nice hot shower. Little kitchen space with your cooker if you need it, and then a big old bedroom. Beautiful, what's the bed like? Oh, it's very uh, 
sponge it, soaks you in, there's no bounce. So, but it's very comfortable. And then we go, and then that's it. It's been about, averaging out about 17, 18 dollars a night, but I did get a discount from the host who has been fantastic. Morning guys, so it's day two, and I'm on my way into the area town center again because my original plan was to go to Chinga Dam, which was a dam that was built, that was meant to become a hydroelectric power plant. Um, it was built by the labor of the people that were held in the Mau Mau detention camps. That plan never materialized, so now it's just a dam and it holds a lake. But yesterday, Alex, who I had a couple of cakes with, he told me about a community which lives somewhere in the, just outside of town. Apparently the descendants of the Mau Mau, the Rasta style, grow their hair and live their own little lives. So we're gonna try and find that community today. Hopefully we'll be able to. If not, then I've got some other plants lined up, so we'll try them instead. So I'm still waiting for Alex because he's taking his time getting here. Where Kenyan he? time is a little bit delayed. It's always a bit later than they say. So uh -huh. I'm still waiting for him. So I've come to the pub, Spinner's Web. I'm sat here with my friends. Spinner's Web. <laughs> Charles. <laughs> <laughs> and we're talking about this aspect of Kenyan life. So there's a thing called Shama. Shama, yeah? So it's where this group comes together and they donate, not donate money, but they share their money for a certain aspect. But I don't really know, understand how it works, but we're going to explain it now. In our, our village, we stay together. We say this, we don't have chairs. Yeah? Mm -hmm. If I come, if, if there is a ceremony or you invite us in, our, in your home, you don't have chairs, mm -hmm. you don't have utensils. So you do the, we do this, we buy like a chama in a group. So what we do, we are so, we are scattered. Then, we say this, we sit down and we say this, we have to contribute some money, we buy chairs, we buy utensils, plates, cups, sufurias. So when you have anything like a wedding ceremony, we carry all those things. We come to your home, we bring chairs, plates, and everything that we have bought together. So it becomes like After a... using all of the day, after using, we put it there, we go back with it. You know, because we have we sit at the down at that time we had nothing. We were going to church, we borrowed some chairs, then we said no, we are not going to do that. Let us form a group for helping each other. So it's essentially you pull money together for the people that need it, need a certain thing, mm -hmm. but then that becomes almost like a community property. Mm -hmm. And when it's when the community needs it, okay, we have the chairs, we have the tables, we have whatever we need, mm -hmm. and it's for this event, and then you put it together. Yeah. Perfect, that's awesome. Sure, you was talking about how... Go how hold your horses. Ah, uh, two seconds. Hold your so, horses. So, something that's really interesting, hold Kenya, is if they get a cold beer, Hold your they also get, <laughs> <laughs> they bizarrely have a hot bottle of water <laughs> that they pour into their cold beer for some reason. You see, Madam, I'm looking at a wider scope than what you said. I'm looking at a wider scope. Madam, can I tell you something? Can, can you tell you something that I've learned from you? Hmm. You're selfish. How? <laughs> <laughs> Charles has had a couple too many beers. He's getting, he's getting, he's getting aggressive with everyone. We <laughs> just want to be helped. But uh, uh, listen, no, wait, but wait, what wait. I... You, you know he's a foreigner. He has come here. Charles, you are drunk. Anyway. No, I'm not drunk. Charles, you just said you were drunk two I'm minutes not, ago. I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Right, that's a cheers. Uh, yeah. We know. Cheers. Cheers. This one. Half past one. Alex has finally turned up. <laughs> <laughs> I told him I was in town about an hour and a half ago and he's finally got his happy ten minutes. We're, but in, we're, having, <laughs> we're having one more pint and then we're off to go find this uh, community that he's told me about, hopefully. Actually, yeah, yeah. caves and everything. Cool. Cool. But one more beer and then we go. <laughs> See me put it in. Look. Ah, the gin goes into the, the keg. Ah. But then we really are going to go meet this community and we're going to uh, 
cocktail. The Tosca cider. I've not seen yeah. Tosca cider before. Oh, he's mixing it right up. It's a cocktail. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now you're heading down there to the caves where people live. Some guys who are headed to Mau Mau, the dreaded guys who believe in Kemadi, who orchestrated the Mau Mau thing and said that we should not be colonized again. I love him. Okay, so we're a little bit lost. We've not really been able to find the community that we're looking for right now. But the the word Mau Mau, there is no tribe called Mau Mau, and it actually it's a bit disputed about where the phrase comes from. Some people say it's an anagram of the Kikuyu phrase Uma Uma, which means get out, get out. And other people say it was a way of the British delegitimizing the, the Mau Mau's cause. Instead of calling them the Kenyan Land and Freedom Army, they would call them the Mau Mau. It makes them sound like some sort of savage tribe. So it's really disputed where the phrase Mau Mau comes from. Hey, buddy, Oh, we've got a traffic jam. How do we have it? Where is everyone going? Uh, traffic jam. How is this such a traffic jam? We're literally in the Why middle of the woods, in the middle of nowhere. Where is everyone okay. going? This is a this is a wedding. Oh, it's a wedding. Yeah, okay. it's a wedding. That's why the traffic is so tight. We can see the car that is carrying the bride. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, is this the one in front of us? Yeah. Look, just like home. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what this guy's doing, but he's stuck. Yeah, we love it. Nah, that's the car that we're stuck. Whoa. It's over here. Oh, here we go. Almost driver. Yeah. <laughs> right, we're in the middle of the station. There's still people hustling. What have we got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What have we got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's it? Somebody. Yeah. Biscuit or fresh. Do you need to fresh lamb? Fresh lamb. 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 Fresh Let's have some ice cream. Come on, let's have some ice cream. 50 bob? Yeah. Uh, 50 hell. Bob is too quite 50 a... bob? <laughs> How much is it really? It's quite no, a I'm joking, I'm joking. Go on, we'll have 50 yeah. bob. Yeah. We'll have an ice cream. Yeah. Look, we're in the actual ass yeah. end of nowhere and we're getting yeah. an ice cream. Yeah. What flavours? What's yeah. the flavour? What's the blue? Blue. Tropical. What? Tropical. Ooh, yeah. very nice. What hey, about you this one? Alex, you have this one. Vanilla I'll take tropical. How are you doing, sweetheart? Vanilla strawberry. Mm. See this? Vanilla strawberry. Okay, how much? 50 bob. 50 bob. So 100 total, yeah? Mm -hmm. Laura, <laughs> tick. Wow. Mm. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Good one to fuck. <laughs> Bloody hell. <laughs> Joshua. Where's the guy with the van? The guy with the van said he was taking somewhere. Yeah. I know the guy. Ah, these are the best days. When you just go for an adventure. You think you're doing something and you do something completely different. Then you can cool down. Exactly. Today I thought I was going to a dam, then I thought I was going to go to some memorial, and in the end, I just got pissed. And now we're in the middle of a forest. The driver that we were with didn't know where we were going to, but we've met someone who has now taken us to the community which is apparently the descendants of the Mau Mau. Back in the 1950s, mm -hmm. they were here, there is a bridge erected over here to cross the river. It's a piped bridge, you can see the, uh, the metals, okay. they are almost there. The pipe bridge. See it. This is Chania River. Ah, this place is amazing. Water. I love so it. It's very, yeah? We're not crossing the bridge. We are not crossing the bridge. We're not crossing the bridge. Yeah. Ah, I feel like I want to. I feel like you want to. How are we doing, bro? All right. Can we try. Yeah, maybe after. Ah, uh, thank you. Once I've sobered up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, I like it too, bro. Look at this place. I think that thing was, they, this was uh, erected by the colonials. This wall? Yeah, this wall, it was a bridge, but the native people just demolished the whole thing because they never wanted to enter in, the, in this other area. It's just a ridge, but they are different people. They, want, they never wanted int interaction among them. Okay, so it's like different people yeah, they are different, different sides of the people. bridge. Yeah, exactly. They are same language, they are same native, but they never wanted this interaction because th those were invading their territories. 
I don't know if we'll ever find the community we're looking for, but wow, who cares? Look at this. And you watch the falls over there. The border. Ah, oh, we're stuck. Yeah. But there's definitely people here because there's a big plastic yeah, bottle over there. Over there. Yeah, so there's definitely people who live here, but yeah, how here. we get to them, I'm not sure. Maybe here. Maybe here. Across the rocks and in there. This one. Ah. I like your sense of adventure, Alex. Yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely too many kegs deep for this. Here we go. Ah! I'm scared. I'm very scared. <laughs> ah, it's shaking. Oh. Bro, 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 down. Okay, step over there. Hold this. Step over hold there. this. I'll hold it for you. Yeah, here we are. You can see the river. You can see the wheat. Joshua over there. Yeah. Oh, you okay? You okay? <laughs> Fuck. You okay? I'm okay, bro. Good, good, good. Right, where are we going? This guy is a maniac. He's across, but now he's stuck in this place. And yeah, now you're stuck. Where are you going? <laughs> so he's just got across. But where he is now, there's just a straight wall up and down. There's nowhere to go. So somehow, Alex is up here somewhere. So we're going to have to try and join him. This is not the video I wanted to make. Try that way. Okay, so he's up here. Now he's saying this way looks the better way. He's gone the hard way. Right, so we're going to try go back and then we're going to go try cross and meet him up there. We definitely end up dead on this mission, I think. There must be an easier way to cross than this. <laughs> He's telling me to take care, he nearly died twice. <laughs> Ah, f why didn't we just go over the f***ing bridge? It's right there. Jesus. We've done all that and there's a, literally a bridge that we walked past. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Come on, we're going over the bridge. Oh, here we are. This is a man with some sense. Here we go. There's a... I'm going over the bridge. I don't know why you didn't go over the bridge. <laughs> We're finally at the same side of the river as Alex, even though he risked his life a trillion times, let's say that. Here he is. If you don't know how tiring it was just getting <laughs> trekking through that. Yeah, I don't know how you're still going, mate, honestly. But look at this hill. Oh, man. I'm not excited for this. <laughs> oh, I'm so upset that there's women there. Cows over there, the food. No. I hate having yeah, to try and pretend that I'm then. strong in front of women. Yeah? Come on. There's women there, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> yes, I come here looking for elephants and what have they found? Elephants. I found no elephants, no giraffes. No giraffes. No, no tigers, no lions. We, we, we have gazelles, elephants, I'll take you to another place. Today it's a big day. I haven't even seen any ants. So we never got to find the community that we were looking for. We had, but we had such an adventure anyway, so who cares at the end of the day? But now, look at this, wow! Whoa. This is the place where the British colonials used to live, it's called the Hoi Tai Rai. This here, yeah? There is coffee, yeah, this area. There is coffee, there is tea. It's the place where they used to live. 
people used to work here. So this is the White Highlands area? Yeah, the White Highlands area. Okay. Not the coffee. You can see another town over there. Way in the distance over here. Anyway, it's grown. So the British came over and they started planting cash crops. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, they exactly. discouraged the locals from growing foods which they could feed themselves with in order to be able to control them. So, and here we are, what, 50, 60 years later, and those cash crops are still growing. But thankfully, the foods for people to eat are also exactly. growing here too. Yeah. How do you say hi in Kikuyu? Wimuega. 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 But when they are many Wemuega, it's when you are alone. But when you are many guys, you say Moriega. Moriega is lots of people, yeah? Uh, a lot of people. So you're saying hi to a group, Moriega. 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 Yeah, that's saying hi in Kikuyu. So even way up here in the forest, there's these new roads being built. Wow. And because of the wet, the driver's having to concentrate as much as he can because we're sliding all over the place. All over the place. It's like extreme motocross. <laughs> you feel <shit>. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, we're having a nightmare because of the land because of the ground right we're on we're back on back on the engine's suffering because of the wet ground beneath us yeah, the crowd is rough and the heavy weight of the three lads on top yeah, exactly. because the road is so treacherous we have to keep getting off and walking parts of the way yeah. so the bikers are way up ahead now yeah. It's going to be bloody pitch black by the time we get there and ha we have to come all the way back here Through this road the driver's not happy. He's really not happy <laughs> But it is what it is yeah. All these tea farms, okay, who, they, who they, owns the land now? Who, are, who makes they, the money from the land? Okay, they are inherited by the people who live here, but the rad is a uh, communal now they inherit from their grandfathers, four grandfathers. Uh, when a boy is born in the land, he owns the land. Okay, the, so it's like shared amongst the community. Among the community. After the father's demise, he owns the land. Okay. But it is partitioned by the father before he dies. There is a will. Oh. This looks deadly. <laughs> <laughs> this looks deadly. Here we go. We'll Come on, Kelvin, don't let us down. We need the engine on. Yeah, Kevin, Kevin. Oh, Kevin, Kelvin, I'm shitting myself here. Come on, <laughs> get the engine on. Just you can shit on himself. That makes him afraid. Come on, Kelvin, get us up that hill. So here we have the monument for Dayden Kamafi. And it was here in the Aberdeer forests where him and his men would hide out before they set off their attacks. He's the guy that was credited with militarizing the Mau Mau rebellion. He organized them into military groups so they could start their guerrilla warfare against the empire. It's in this spot where he was shot in the leg and he almost bled out on one of these patches over here. It said where he bled, the ground no, mo no longer grows. So you can see the brown patches. This is apparently where he was bleeding. After he was shot, he was captured and he was taken to Nairi General Hospital where he was sentenced to death. But in these regions, he is seen as an inspiration. He was one of the leader members of the independence movement of Kenya. And I'm gonna leave you with some of these final words. And here they are here on this plaque. It is better to die on our feet than live on our knees in fear of colonial rule. Field Marshal Dayden Kamafi Ochero. <laughs>